Hi everyone, I hope you are. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Bitcoin. Once again, thank you for support. Okay, big up the Coins Kid crew. So right now, you can see that Bitcoin is coming down here and we're almost in this beautiful little buy zone just there. Do you see this? We're currently in the accumulation zone and we've got this lovely little buy zone according to this uh, rainbow chart, okay, which is all the historical data here for Bitcoin. So you can see it moves up and down in waveforms like this, okay? Uh, and this particular waveforms come up and come down, come up and come down. Well, this after this correction here, where did we find support? In the bottom of the blue zone, the corona and we sort of wicked outside of it just there look at that you know what an amazing entry point and right now we've come up again got a little bit of extended gone sideways and you can see we're sort of crabbing in this sideways market at the moment and eventually are we going to come down to this blue zone you know if we do see that amazing you know i'll be putting bids in down there but if we do start to lose it as support that's really negative okay so we'll keep an eye going forward uh, and yesterday i've seen a lot of comments people saying you know you didn't shout out the the, the the prices basically so right now you could say if this correction continues that Bitcoin's going through and there is more of a sell-off and things like that then you will be looking at $18,987,000 retest on that blue zone is it going to dip its toe in it and come back out like the v-shaped recovery that we got of corona who knows but it looks as though it's trying to get there doesn't it so is it some kind of crab market right now where we come up and we come down we come up and we come down and eventually go sideways until we eventually meet this blue target pretty much like we did here so you're coming down like that you dip your toe in you come back up into resistance since you go sideways you eventually meet the blue zone and then you break out and you start to come back up okay so there is a possibility uh, that that could happen obviously you know because right now if we take a look uh, where would it be roughly uh, roughly just there it's probably about over halfway through each halving that bitcoin does kind of bottom out and then starts another run so you can see here almost just over halfway we've got the halving just there went sideways we tested that in a higher low just there because that's a higher low do you see that that's your low you come up slowly but surely went sideways got into the blue zone fantastic not like it says here accumulate look at this zone just accumulating going sideways and then you eventually started that run up okay into almost the halfway point of halving so you know at the minute we are roughly around about halfway almost okay so i would expect a third to be sort of the end of this year where bitcoin does actually sort of meets this blue zone which would be roughly around about 23k if it doesn't capitulate already and at that point you could say okay well if the cycle is the same then you could start another run in the end of this year the correction could actually be over and you could be starting that another run out of this blue zone up to the red zone eventually you know taking you up to the this red zone which we never got to in this cycle the, the big question is why did we never get to that red zone in this cycle are the cycles broken is it because we had this dump here this corona dumping it sort of destabilized the markets you know is, is it because of that who knows but this cycle is certainly different from the past where we never got overextended into the red zone okay so you know my, my long-term target doesn't change for bitcoin i do think we are looking at 200k plus bitcoin eventually okay but it's just the road and the long journey to that so basically that's you know i'm chatting on i do apologize but that's my outlook you know looking at this chart it's really important we keep an eye on this chart because this is key support this is your major major level of support you lose that you know you're breaking all support here basically and you're breaking structure so let's take a look at the bitcoin chart right now okay so one thing i want to see this is a five day time frame for bitcoin okay and uh, everyone's in despair oh no it's a bear market oh no it's going to zero and things like that but historically whenever bitcoin has lost this five day goes in it comes down okay there's no denying that it comes down like that you know you come down and right now we're losing the five day time frame you know the gaussian we've, we've turned red for me historically that has always shown opportunity now does it mean that we can't rally into the resistance and come lower of course it doesn't you know but we've got this support here that i don't want to see loss of bitcoin i think if we lose that that's quite structurally quite negative and then obviously you've got that high there as well you start to come down you're cascading through the highs and you're losing that that in itself could be really really negative and you could see that bitcoin could eventually do something like that before it bottoms out and starts to come back up and that could actually take years because look you've been in this whopping up cycle for bitcoin and then eventually you are going to roll at some point but i don't think it's just yet to be honest with you okay i could be completely wrong obviously and the precursor to that would if would be if you start to lose these highs that you created for yourself for bitcoin okay so your key high there is 20k and then another high there is around about 14k now they're key highs okay because you could say all right if you do start to do that where's your support well your support is that 
and then that do you see that it really is simple to identify on the charts you've got support 3k and then obviously if you start to lose that support and lose that support your next level of support is that high there which is roughly uh, $1,100 for Bitcoin and again if you lose that your next support is that and then you've got that low there as well you know and at that point you, you really are rolling okay you, you've absolutely come down you know and anything can happen obviously it's all about support and resistance but my forecast still remains the same I still think that this is opportunity and I think that Bitcoin is far too bullish and far too strong and fundamentally it's, it's a fantastic uh, thing is Bitcoin okay and that, but that's my own opinion you know that's my opinion it doesn't mean that it is that it's just my own opinion and, and I think that the, the, the historical data shows us here whenever Bitcoin goes red it's always opportunity it never feels like opportunity but it always is okay eventually down the line so so all I need to see for Bitcoin okay is get back inside the Gaussian hold back test of support break out you're looking at impulsive break and from that point I'll be able to give you your 1618 target where I do think you're trying to get to in the next up cycle okay so just here you can see that we lost this support and we're putting this reversal wave to the downside an impulsive move to the downside basically because just here you broke out okay and you got back above DMAs which is really really nice and you, you almost got back above a median line do you see that at the Gaussian but you failed to get back above it and hold it above so that's key resistance right now and then you've come down and you've lost the key support of the low end of the Gaussian and with that you capitulate down so you know right now your key resistance is really simple it's the low end of the Gaussian and the EMAs on the five-day time frame if you start to see Bitcoin start to come back up and hold them back to these of support that's an extremely bullish statement from Bitcoin because it's something it never does unless it's bullish after falling out of the five-day Gaussian channel do you understand what I'm saying to you okay so you know a lot of people are saying that this is the bottom right now we're gonna to start to do this and break out obviously it can happen if we do if we break the Gaussian and start to get out, I would say, yeah, your bottom's in. And at that point, I would drop the fibs on and I could say to you, look, you're looking at a minimal, minimal impulsive move. You're looking at 1618 around about 125, okay? At 128K, sorry, that would be my minimal target. And then obviously, you've got the two fib up there if you get overextended, 187. And that would be the target, you know. But the, like I've always said to you, the greater you retrace, the greater the impulsive pace. So, for example, if Bitcoin right now does what I think it's going to do, you're going to relief rally into these key resistances, you know, the low end of the Gaussian, the, the 20 EMA as well, because you're getting really overextended from that. So you do slow down and tend to retest it as resistance or support in an uptrend. If you do get rejected off that, that could offer a massive short opportunity to come back down and eventually coming down to this two fib, where I do think that's capitulation right there for Bitcoin. And that could be the low of this correction. And at that point, if that is the case and you have bottomed out, you bottomed out on that two fib at 22664, roughly around that sort of area, then you next next impulsive move okay you're looking at 137 and you're looking at 210 in an overextended move an impulsive move to the upside now you'd be saying oh no no chance no chance but let me show you right now this is how I was able to meet all these targets up here from the previous correction an impulsive move to the upside it's all game of Fibonacci I've taught you that so you can see that just there you came up you got to the 1618 okay and then you got to the two fib as well you actually got really overextended just there and you come back and you're you currently old in the 1618 to be honest with you but you know things can happen right now you start to rally into resistance and lose support boom you're going to come down again and that two fib around about 22k is, is a key level of support that i do think that bitcoin's potentially trying to get to in this correction and it's just one big irregular correction like this abc irregular correction coming down to support okay that's what i think that bitcoin is trying to do and it's just basically mirroring this correction here as well you know this is an abc zigzag boom 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 abc zigzag and this is an irregular abc correction coming down where the b b wave made a higher high than the formation of the the the, the a wave down and then the c leg loses the a leg and you can see we've already lost it we're currently sort of hovering on this support right now but the fact that we've whipped below is quite negative because we just sort of cascaded through this support that we created in 2021 so it looks as though this is some kind of c leg okay of a large abc correction so with that i do think that potentially what we've got here and i've gone through this with you before is a one or two this is a three all right now you're rallying into a four okay and you've got your key resistances above and with that you're going to get a final sort of rug pull uh, possibly towards the end of the year here for bitcoin where you do bottom out and then you begin your journey upwards onwards and upwards okay for bitcoin but this is just technical analysis and someone looking at and obviously for that to be valid we have to hold these supports right now of this retracement that we're going through uh, for bitcoin so that's basically bitcoin hope you enjoyed that little update but this is a long-term outlook for bitcoin at the minute and i do think that what you've got here is huge huge impulsive move one 
this is your two this is your three this is a way for correction okay like i said to you corrective phase of a bull market when we start to low ball out if the low's not already in already you know you're looking at a huge huge impulsive move after the correction's over basically you know and i've just given you all them targets so that's basically bitcoin hope you enjoyed that update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned take care everyone bye bye